Many samples of gas are not one gas only, they're mixtures such as typical air is about 80% nitrogen and around 20% oxygen. So when you have a mixture of gases, what we do is we assume each gas individually follows the ideal gas law. The pressure that we measure is the total pressure, and the total pressure is the sum of each individual gas's pressure. Those individual gas pressures are called the partial pressures. This equation comes from manipulating the math on this equation in blue. PA is the partial pressure of gas A. That equals capital XA, which is called the mole fraction of A, times the total pressure. The mole fraction is just the moles of the chemical you're interested in A divided by the total number of moles. So here's a problem where we mix together six moles of hydrogen, two moles of nitrogen, and one mole of ammonia. The total volume of the container is 10 liters, and the temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. First we want to figure out what the total pressure is, and then each gas's partial pressure. Well, the total pressure we can get from PV equals nRT. So P is nRT divided by V where n in this case is the total number of moles. It doesn't matter with PV equals nRT if we have, in this case, 6 plus 2 plus 1, that's 9 moles of three different gases or 9 moles of one gas. The pressure is from the total number of moles, so 9 moles times the gas constant, the temperature, Never use degrees Celsius, convert that into Kelvin, and the total volume, 10 liters. So the total pressure works out to be just over 26 atmospheres. We're going to next calculate the partial pressure of each gas using this equation. So if we want the pressure just due to the hydrogen, we would find the mole fraction of hydrogen times the total pressure. And the mole fraction of hydrogen is 6 moles of hydrogen divided by the total, which was 9 moles, and then the total pressure, 26.1 atmospheres. Notice the mole fraction is a unitless number because the mole cancels with the mole, 6 ninths of 26.1 works out to be 17.4 atmospheres. You can do the same thing for the other gases. The pressure of nitrogen is its mole fraction. We had 2 moles of nitrogen. So the pressure works out to be 5.8 atmospheres. And the pressure of ammonia is going to be the smallest because it has the smallest mole fraction. And you can check if you add together each partial pressure that has to give you the overall total pressure.